It is a Devil's Puck Luck Draft Special. Danny McDonough and yours truly, Adam Arbrecht, going head-to-head, -head, drafting our in-house team that we're going to track all season long. We dive in. Over here, Adam Armbrecht covering the Brooklyn Nets and Locked On Nets podcast with Doug Norrie and your New York football giants on the One Giant podcast with Andy Mack. Joined as always by the 20 year season ticket holder, Pulse of the Devil's Ooh, fan base. Thank you, Danny McDonough. I like that. It's just words. I don't have to mean it. <laughs> it's just words. I like those words. They're nice words. End of the day, you we're having it. a great time officially being on the network. As we said, the last couple of episodes, it means just more content, more opportunities to cross over. So make sure you're following us. And frankly, make sure you're following the Hockey Podcast Network because yes. there's all the team coverage that you could handle. So be looking forward to that. Obviously, we got to cross back over with uh, Neil at some point. Oh, absolutely. We are now. We're now under the same roof, and that's great. Because it's yeah. always there's never there's never too much devil's coverage, which that's is devil's state of mind, by the way. Yes, yeah. 100. If you don't know it, you should be checking that out, following him, liking him, and then we will be doing some crossovers again with him real soon. But for today, we've been talking about point totals, the yeah. signings, everything this off season. I had this interesting idea. It's Love all, it. It's all too early for it. Probably we'll revisit throughout the season. Maybe we'll have a redraft structure at the All Star break. But I wanted to look. Can we go toe to toe with one another? and draft inside the Devils organization, what kind of teams can we draft? And what we're going to end up having here is two offensive lines each, one defensive line each. Two. And we could even go to two. You think uh, we can yeah, get let's, there? Yeah, let's do two because we got eight defensemen. You know, We have enough so, to get yeah, it done. That's good. And you can two. tell we thought this through thoroughly. <laughs> and then we'll obviously have one goaltender apiece. And then, we're, like I said, it's going to be fun to debate this right now, yeah. but we're also going to get the chance to track it throughout the season. And I'm thinking about this like they do with nine cat leagues. You put the key stats together and we can just look head to head week by week. Who's winning the weekly matchups inside of the team? Who do we feel confident about? Who got that nice little sleeper draft pick maybe? Yeah, you're right. Inside the Devils organization. Here's what we should do too. We should do two lines for offensive lines, two defensive pairing lines. Let's also have subs. Let's have two offensive subs, you know, because, you know, we, we don't want to ever say this, but injuries, barring and things like that, we'll have... Two extra players. No one said well, injuries. No one said injuries. Yeah, you know, listen. Well, he jinxed it. So, uh, cancel the season. The <laughs> Devils in house draft battle will officially begin. And you may be wondering who gets Jack Hughes because that's obviously going to be the first overall pick. There's only one way to decide these type of things, and it's with a traditional method of Rochambeau. So, let's make sure that let's see. Uh, get your you fist see? up here. Yeah. All right, that's here perfect. Okay. So, we're going to go one, two, out of three. Shut up. One, <laughs> it's one, two, three, and shoot. Don't be delaying it because I got a lot of things that I'm managing. One, two, here. three, and shoot. Copy. Yeah. All right, here we and go. And then uh, best out of three. And then uh, winner gets first pick. And I guess Jack Hughes, but you don't know. You don't know for sure who's going to take it. Really? We're going to find out. And then we're, uh, we're going to be recording this, tracking it down. We'll recap it. I can end. actually see you taking like Luke Hughes or something. You know? Don't worry about what I'm going to mix it up. All right, here we go. Alrighty. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Oh, oh my god. And that's how you win the first oh. overall pick. And that is how you get one Jack Hughes for yours truly. Let's go ahead and let's mark. go ahead and mark that down. As we know, Jack Hughes is going to be pushing over that 100 point total in the upcoming <laughs> season. We're very excited Sorry, about should that. Should we just say you won or like Oh, come on. There's a long way to go here. All right, all right, all right. And what I really like about this is I think this is going to work out well for me um, from a couple of standpoints. So, so uh, Jack Hughes is officially off the board. Where would you like to go with your first pick here? Uh, Jack Hughes, mm -hmm. just as we know, second line center for the New Jersey Devils. Currently second listening. line. We call it yeah. second line. Yeah. But center, yeah. I have my first center off the board. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go with number 63, Jesper Bratt. You, Jesper Bratt, as your first pick. Uh, remind us, where was he point total wise last year? 73 on the nose, back to back seasons there. And you're going to be plugging in. Jack Hughes line mate in theory right now. And you've got your first winger coming off the board. So I'm going to try to structure this smartly here. Let's get Jesper Brad in there. I already know. I, I have a feeling I know who you're going to pick. I bet so I don't, Luke I don't. Hughes, the defenseman and uh, obviously power play upside guy. If you watched our last episode, we talked about point totals. I believe that, that Luke Hughes potentially has a breakout. And guess what they call this? 
even though we're only taking devil's players, they would call this a homer pick because I'm very high on oh, Luke yeah. Hughes and what yeah. I think he can do. I'm I'm comfortable. This is what's great about it. This is why I said it's great to win to win the draft Rochambeau because I get Jack Hughes and then I can take a little bit of a risk right here at right. the top of the draft. So I get my first defensive player. Um, maybe going to fall onto that second line pairing, we think, uh, inside the defense. Luke Hughes, defenseman. I know he's going to do that. To me. It's always you know, it's going to happen. You better get his jersey this year. I think you have to at this point. Yes. You know you have to. All right, I'm going a very... I know, logical. Where, I, I know where you're going. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go a logical pick here. I'm going to take another winger. It's going to be... Actually, you know what? Wait, hold on. This is tough right now for me because I'm in between two players. I think you know what two players I'm in between right now. You are in between Timo Meyer and Dougie Hamilton. Incorrect. I'm going to oh. take one number 91, Dawson Mercer, as Ooh, my next pick. That's interesting. Yes, sir. That's an interesting one. So yes, you're sir. taking a first line. Again, first line. Yeah. winger here your second winger of the draft yeah, so let's make sure that we oh. go ahead and get this uh paced out here i'm sure that i'm doing this perfectly um why why dawson mercer we talked about in the last episode very consistent yeah. in terms of goals and assists. listen goals. again i think that he wants this extension he wants to be with this team for a long time i think he's going to play with a purpose this year and i think that he's going to be 30 plus goal scorer i really do I, you know i'm high on dawson mercer this year Okay, so you now have, uh, in theory, a winger on each of your each of your lines now. Mm -hmm. One on the left, one on the right. Mm -hmm. Now I have taken Luke Hughes. I've got my first defenseman, but an offensive minded defenseman. You do, and I also have Jack Hughes, which makes me feel really good. The question here now becomes: Do I get a wing? Because now you've taken a couple of the top wingers off the board. Sure have. But let's be smart about this. Danny's not going to go for another winger on his next pick. He has to balance this thing out. Maybe he's going to go Nico Heischer for a center play there. Maybe he's going to, I don't know. We don't know where he's going to look mm. here. So I could go Timo Meyer, but I'm not going to do that. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and take Dougie Hamilton. I knew you were going to do that. So I now have two, <laughs> arguably the two uh, most offensive minded defensive players on your New Jersey yeah, Devils. And I feel pretty. Day, day, I, was, I was thinking about taking Dougie good. Hamilton in there, but just because you took a defenseman, I was thinking about doing it, but I'm not, you know, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say this right away. We well, can't take Dougie Hamilton. I took him now. I need a center. So I'm going to go V cap number 13, Nico Heischer. Very nice. A very nice pickup for you here in what is round number three, closing it out. We're going to go ahead and get him right in there at center. Um, nothing not to like about him. Stat wise, what are you looking for for him this upcoming season? Nico Heischer, like I said, I think you could see 28 high 20s in goals, but I think that his assist total is still going to be up there. He, listen, he's a solid player. You know, he's a great center. He's really going to develop. Listen, he's solid. He's a, he's he's the captain, and he's to me, he's the heartbeat of this team. You know, he's the captain for a reason. He's a phenomenal center. I think that you saw it against the Rangers. Obviously, he was dominating the circle. Um, he's, he's gonna be great. Yeah, I think he's gonna have more assists than he did last year. I really do. All right, right back to the conversation. After we let you know that even if you're not going on vacation, summer's still all about being in a vacation state of mind. Whether I want to be rocking out to my favorite old school band, Weezer, or just need a little bit of time to retreat inside my own head, I love creating my own summer soundtrack by popping in my Raycon wireless earbuds. There's obviously a lot going on in the summer. Sometimes you need to get pumped up when you're going to go get together with a bunch of friends, or maybe you want to go ahead and keep calm with some guided meditation. All I can tell you is that Raycons are the best way to listen. You can use earbud tap functions to toggle between three customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness mode as well. Raycons have a 32-hour battery life, including eight hours of playtime, so you can listen to what you want, when you want, for a really long time. They come with custom gel tips for the most comfortable in-ear fit, and they start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good. And Raycons come with a 30-day happiness guarantee, so you really can't lose. Create your own soundtrack with Raycon right now. Listeners of the Devil's Puck Luck podcast can get 15% off of their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash THPN, just like our network. That's buyraycon.com slash THPN to save 15% off on Raycons, buyraycons.com slash THPN. So I'm just going to say right now, I like the way the draft is going so far for, for me. For you? Yeah. Yeah. You. Where do you think I'm going Oh, you're here? clearly doing Timo Meyer right now. Yeah, and it's going to yeah. be Timo Meyer for me. We know that he came in last year, uh, was productive, surprisingly more productive than maybe it mm -hmm. looked from the naked eye, was still adjusting. Yeah. On a spec, he'll be a 
plus goal scorer. The assist numbers are going to be there. 12 and a half percent shooting percentage. So I'm going to take him at my left wing position to go along with Jack Hughes on what feels like a pretty strong top line for me right now. Uh, Got a pretty damn good top line. Your top line's great. Currently, he'll finish with his fourth, finish your fourth round pick here. Tyler Toffoli. Tyler Toffoli. I like that. I thought, yeah, well, by the I way, had I to, right? <laughs> what do you mean? I had so, to. so Dan, just to be clear here. <laughs> so I just want to make something very clear here. Dan is now going to take a right winger yeah. to add into his two wings that he already has inside Need of this it. draft class. What am I going to do? Go defenseman uh, right now? <laughs> you got the top scoring defenseman. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about how you're structuring your uh, team. So Tyler Toffoli, uh, do you think that he is going to be able to match you think he'll be able to match the production that he had before coming yeah, over listen, here, we talk, career year? For yeah, we talked about it last episode. I, I think that you're going to see numbers kind of turn a little bit and the goals being a little bit lower, but I think his assists are going to be up higher again. I think point total, he's going to be where he was last year. Okay. So- Jump right back in on the conversation after I let you know today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings. New customers can download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use promo code THPN, just like our network. Bet just $5 to score $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's code THPN, just like the Hockey Podcast Network, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In Massachusetts, call 1-800-327-5050 or visit gamblinghelpline.org. In New York, call 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Kansas, call 1-800-522-4700. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resorts in Kansas City, in West Virginia, gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. All games regulated by the West Virginia Lottery. Please play responsibly. In partnership with Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Race in Connecticut. Help is available for problem gambling. You can call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. 21 plus in most eligible states, but ages vary by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible gambling resources. Bonus best expire seven days after issuance and one boost per eligible game. Opt-in required max bet $50. 10 plus leg required for 100% boost. Eligibility, wagering, and deposit restrictions apply. Terms of sportsbook, DraftKings.com slash baseball terms right back in for round number five of our devils in-house draft battle i'm noting it because it says down here draft battle so i realized that that's what i titled it (laughs) and that's what i should refer uh to it as as we move forward uh reminder here obviously on the hockey podcast network where you can find us uh, all throughout this off season and then some great crossover additions coming our way as well to give you a quick recap before we dive into round number five dan has jesper bratt nico heischer and dawson mercer as his top offensive line he also added tyler to foley to prepare for that second offensive Mm -hmm. line I have Timo Meyer, Jack Hughes waiting to finish my top offensive line. And then I have Dougie Hamilton and Luke. I needed to have the Hughes brothers together. We all knew that that was going to be the case. They're going to do. And I'm going to go with number 56 in the playbook, number one in your hearts, Eric Holla. I knew you were going to do it. I knew Picking it. up another center. I refuse to form full lines <laughs> at this point of the uh, battle here. My second center. Uh, It just makes a lot of sense when you go back and we'll just highlight his point production going back to last season, 80 games, 14 goals, 27 assists, 41 point total. You just love the value for him. Obviously, I feel really good about that pickup as we turn it over to the back end of the fifth round for you. Yeah, I'm going to go Palat. I'm strong on Palat in a sense. I think he's going to have a little better year, obviously, than last year. He's being injured. Um, You know, he's going to be close to the 45, 50 point mark, you know, so I'll get some production out of him. Probably. uh, a little less than you will with Luke Hughes. You know what I mean? You're going to have a little more points on Luke Hughes. So it's, I got to try to even it out here a little bit, you know? This is getting, this is getting interesting in a hurry because I don't really know what type of team I'm I'm forming right now. (laughs) I have one winger, two centers now uh, as I pick up. I'm going to go upside and I'll take Alexander Holtz at this moment uh, to finish out my right wing and give myself a complete, at least, by the way, that's my, that's my first line (laughs) putting in, uh, I'll put in Holtz with Meyer and Hughes in theory. Listen, if you beat me, I don't care because if Holtz has a great season and gets like 70 points or something, I'm all about it. Can you we be I mean? honest? Can we be honest right now? While <laughs> I love the start of this draft, I will just note that like 
I've created an upside roster here at a couple of key positions. Pretty yeah. important to have Dougie Hamilton for me. I think important to have Jack Hughes because I am taking, there's marginal risk here in having Luke Hughes <laughs> and Holtz be like two of my go-to guys in the upcoming season. Uh, listen, I, I think that Luke Hughes is a, a shoe in to get at minimum 45 points. At yeah, minimum. I think there is, there's a floor here. Yeah, Holtz is a much, yeah. is a much bigger. Holtz is a huge question mark. Yeah, we don't even know if he's going to start the season in the AHL. So you're taking a big risk there. Yeah, I could have gone with Bastion, I guess. I could have dipped down to the fourth line. But here's the great news. You have to go with Mikey McLeod. Yeah, Mikey McLeod is my so, sixth pick. So I got my two offensive lines solidified. I'm going to take just a beat here real quick just to think it through, Adam. Don't go crazy. Uh, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. I'm going to go with Siegenthaler here. Like that Add to my defensive line. I'm trying to... I'm trying to be thoughtful okay. around this and give you a, give you an opportunity to you know to pick up maybe a sub that can be. No, a I'm gonna more. do Kevin Ball. So I'm gonna jump right in here. Kevin Ball is my first defenseman actually. Yeah. So and I'm pretty confident with the stat line with hits. I feel good about that. Yeah. You know. So uh, listen, and I think he's gonna get some assists. We talked about that in a previous episode. So you know, I think that there is upside to having him be my number one defenseman in this draft. So and that's what I'm you confident. call that's what you call doing a solid for your teammate yeah, yeah, on yeah. the show here. Yeah. I didn't want to be an embarrassment by the time we get to the end of this, you know? <laughs> um, so what, what are we going to do here? Do I shock the world and go and finish my defensive pairings here? Good question. Uh, which would put me in line to take a John Marino. Which do I go with the Lazar? There's some interesting. We need some uh, music to play here, you know? Ba -da -ba -da -da. think you know what i'm about do you what do you think i'm doing go ahead Play. i think you're gonna do bastion i think that you're gonna pick bastion i think that'd be the smartest mm. pick for you i'm gonna go with bastion i was just playing around a little bit it's good to add him in there a guy that last year obviously with only those 43 games you expect the production to be up there as he gets yeah. back on the ice and he's kind of the safety blanket um with some other variables being in there so yeah. i'll go ahead and add him in and he will pair up there with uh holla for me yeah i'm gonna go akira schmid akira oh <laughs> I don't like that. He forgot. No, I didn't. Oh, I did forget. <laughs> I oh. Akira Schmid. Pick for Danny. Akira Schmid. Oh, One really... Akira Schmid. Nah, maybe when we get trade. If we could do trades. Follow me. Oh. Do I have to go Lazar here? You can go no sick if you want, you know, if when he comes in. No sick. That's uh, interesting. You know? But you don't know if he's gonna be playing, you know. So you're kinda you kinda have to go Lazar to round out your Oof. your top two lines for that's interesting. Yeah. Unless you aren't confident Lazar will be in the starting lineup on the fourth line. You know, this you have a big question here because this is That's is your fourth line gonna be Lazar, McLeod, and Bastion, or is Le Lazar gonna be scratched in game one? You know, that that's a question that you gotta you think about here. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Freaking guy <laughs> telling me what the deal is. Uh, sure. that's okay. I'll take John Marino. You know why? Because I saw I saw what just happened. That's my this next dude pick. F with my brain a minute ago. I had to I ended up taking, I made a terrible, not a terrible pick, but not uh, a pick that I needed to make there. Instead, I'll add Marino. I'll close out my top two defensive pairings. I have a great balance between offensive production and defensive-minded players. Thank you. Thanks well, a lot. Clearly, I have to take here as my sub. You only, have, you only have you only have I have one defenseman. Yeah. Yeah, so clearly it's either Miller I'm going to take or it's Lazar to kind of. Nah, you know what? I'm going to take. I'm going to take Miller. Miller is going to be in our uh, top uh, six here with defensemen. He's going to. To me, he's going to be in the lineup this year. So to start the season, I, I think you know as. So your defense. What is? What the heck is your other defensive pairing going to be now? I'm in trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. Here. This is great. I mean, essentially, I'm going to pick Nemec and. Uh, <laughs> And Brendan Smith. I'm in, I'm in trouble. I just like, yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. But listen, I didn't even, like, I was concerned about my, I was concerned about what I was doing. Realistically, we should have went back and probably one so pairing. A little for, bit. One a pairing little, of defense would have been fine. Offensive first, yeah. then defensive. Uh, we should have done this in a bit of a. No, that's fine. Listen, it's fine. Okay, so uh, you just picked Miller. Miller. So your first defensive pairing is done. I. What, what, what are we supposed to know about Lazar on four games? Well, we know he got lost in Canada for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we do know that. We had no idea who one, he was or where one, he was. The one thing we know for sure is he couldn't find uh, the team. I know, like, you know what I mean? Like, and 
what I wonder about with him, and I'm not trying to filibuster here. What I wonder about is like you went and got him at a yeah. certain time for the seat, for a certain time for the team. What does he mean now? Like, has anything changed this off season with the other additions you've made and the guys you? It's, it's it's hard to know, right? Because is he going to be a huge? point getter no but i think that you have hits as a category which will count as an offensive player lazar is a smart you know he's a smart pick because if he's you know he's listen he's not gonna play 82 games i think that you're gonna see some changes in the fourth line here and there but he's he could play a solid 45 games to me you know 50 games you know and maybe he listen maybe he's phenomenal on the fourth line and he's a staple of the fourth line so if, if we're counting hits obviously you're gonna take lazar in my opinion yeah because you have like the better the biggest hit guys here yeah Okay, I'm going to go with Nosek. You did that because you know what I was thinking. I'm not getting messed around <laughs> by you anymore. So that will complete my second line pairing with Nosek, Hala, and Bastion as my second mm -hmm. offensive line. Uh, I'm taking Brandon Smith. I still think that uh, Nemec will most likely start in the AHL. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take him because... There's really no other player I can take defenseman wise. So you could just write that in. You know what yeah. I mean? Here's the here's the great news. So wait, no sex in your your top six for offense. That's right. So mm -hmm. you have a sub after this, and I'll have a sub. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's no there's no need to explain. Cool. I got Brandon Smith. Go ahead. You're I'll take Lazar. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. Which the, the reason why I like it is just now I have coverage. If yeah. Nosek makes it in the lineup, great. If he's not, then Lazar is the obvious choice to be a part of that. God, I'm doing really feeling good right now. And obviously, I will take Nemec. So that's nice, though. That yeah, is yeah, a good one. Listen. If I was in a different spot, um, I would like taking the flyer on a player like that. His top line is going to be Jesper Bratt, Nico Heischer, and Dawson Mercer. His top mm -hmm. defensive pairing will be Kevin Ball and Miller. Mm -hmm. Then going into his second line, he currently has. Uh, Palat, McLeod, and Toffoli. Mm -hmm. His second defensive pairing will be Brendan Smith and Nemec. Your goaltender is going to be you'll have so you'll have Schmid there at goal. So then my lines currently stand Meyer, Hughes, and Holtz. Mm -hmm. Then I've got uh, Nosek, Halla, and Bashan or Lazar. And then my defensive pairings are going to be Hamilton and Hughes, Siegs and Marino. Mm -hmm. And then my sub will be Lazar. So now you pick as your last pick Vitek Vanacek. Yes. And now I have my last pick, which will be Foot. As my sub, I am going. I'm going to go out there and I like that. say I like that, that if anything it. happens, someone has a some downtime playing. I'm going to go foot as my sub, just as my little security blanket here. Yeah, you know, I think I that there's that a lot of upside with foot. So I like that a lot. I think, I think like so. Listen, what we're going to do with this is obviously watch it and enjoy it. Like yeah. we want this to be a lot of fun. We're going to put these down. I think what we can do now at some point, we'll have a lot of guys that are kind of you know question marks with stat sure. lines. Where we can talk about top defensive and offensive pairings and where some of these predictions would be going over the course of an 82 game season potentially. And then we're going to put it out on social. So as we wrap up what has been the Devils in house draft, yeah, this was fun. You know, it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like it. it's a good idea. And it's know? also like it's also confirming who knows the team better, like who's smarter. And even who's better looking, which I think is really important for a podcast such as ours. Follow us over on Twitter at NJ Devils PL. We'll, we'll go ahead and lay this out in our round by round pick selections, which will be a lot of fun. Want some fan feedback? Who would yeah, you have 100%. taken? I'm gonna, there's going to be polls here. There's going to be questions about did Adam go too high with Luke Hughes, right? Is it amazing that he has both Hughes brothers? <laughs> is it amazing that he has both top defensive parents? <sighs> is Adam incredible? Like things <laughs> like that are going to be asked out there. You can also follow uh, at Adam R at Danny the face on Twitter over on YouTube at devil's puck luck on Instagram and on TikTok at devil's puck luck.